start with this verse, number 14, wherein Prabhupada Saraswati prays to his mind. A lot of devotees are doing a lot of praying to the mind. <laughs> like, be quiet, don't say that. <laughs> so many... So he's praying to the mind to stop all other plans, desiring for enjoyment. The mind is always desiring, obviously, material enjoyment and pleasure. By seeking pleasure, so the mind wants pleasure in the material things, Dandavas. But he's telling the mind, listen, you should find pleasure in Vrindavan. And then you can take pleasure in all these loudspeakers and, well, whatever. Which is unique because here alone, Vrindavan Ishri, Sri Radha lived and played with her eternal beloved Sri Krishna. Braj then, 5,000 years ago and even today, is filled with memories, moods, and the presence of Radha Govinda Yuga. So this verse, which we'll discuss 14, it discusses the uh, Vrindavan and specifically the water and the land, the trees, the vines. They're all special. We're living with these wherever we can find trees and vines and plants in Vrindavan. But they're our neighbors. They're part of the environment. They're the stimulus and the, the assistance to the Leela.